you. Thanks, Maria. Well, here's a simple equation for you. You go to the store, you buy a soda, you buy some water, and you see the sticker price. It has the price, and then there's this thing called CRV, which is usually five cents per can, or it can be 10 cents depending on the size of the can. Yeah, so and you're, if you return it, you're supposed to get that money back. Mm -hmm. It's all about recycling. Well, apparently, California's passing up a lot of money, at least $308 million a year in those CRV Fees. And there's a reason. Jamie Court from the Consumer Watchdog is here to tell us why. So here's the thing. It's pretty simple. There's money on the table that we have. What's going on? Well, look, you plunk down your five cents, but, you know, where are you going to return it? What we have is, uh, in the state, about $1.5 billion in, the, in these nickels and dimes. But literally, we have calculated people only get about half that nickel back on average. So 2.5 cents. And the reason is there aren't enough recycling centers. 40% have closed in the last five years. The state isn't doing a good job of paying the recycling centers to stay open. It's not doing a good job of making the grocery stores take back your empties. And because we have that lack of oversight, the payments in the system, that $1.5 billion, are going to the curbside haulers, the people who take it at the curb. But you're not getting your money back when they take your bottles and glasses away. Also, they're getting wow. broken and not recycled appropriately. So the problem is we've got a lot of special interests in Sacramento who have gamed this system. And now we have a new governor, and we hope it can be fixed. Yeah, and so you're, you've done this big investigation, which mm -hmm. you're announcing right now here on Good Day LA. Uh, so people at home are watching. OK, I got my cans in my mm house. -hmm. I'm looking at them right now what in my kitchen. Do? What do I do? Well, here's the problem. You've got to find a recycling center. So you can go to the Cal Recycle website. You can go to Google. Just say recycling center in Google with your zip code, and they'll find a recycling center. But the problem is you're going to have to probably stand in some long lines. So the way to get around that is to collect your empties, put them in the garage, do it every month, month and a half, get your kids to do it. Um, there's no perfect solution, though, uh, because there are less centers, there are longer waits. You've got to pick a good time to go. So I have a simple question no. for you, though. As a kid, I would take my cans to no. the grocery store. Why can't I go to you know, one of my local supermarkets or a big box store? What's the yeah. problem? That's exactly the problem. You can't. And part of the recommendations of our report are every grocery store of a certain size should have to take back these bottles and cans and empties. Grocery chains don't want to do that. We want some legislation to make them do it. Our redemption rate officially is like 75 percent, but it's really more like 50 percent when you count the fact that the trash haulers are taking your money and getting your redemption and big bulk collectors are taking it. So what we really need to do is fix the program and have the governor say, let's clean up the system by um, making it easier, opening more redemption centers, using the big state reserve. There's 300 million in the state reserve that we can actually pay redemption centers to be open. Uh, we should do that rather than focusing on the trash haulers and the other people like the beverage makers with the power in Sacramento. And you want people to contact the governor, contact their assemblyman, contact their state senator for that point. There's a response to what you, mm -hmm. you've done, this study. Cal Recycle put out a statement, and we're going to put that up on the screen. Mm -hmm. It says that CRV in totaled uh, $1.3 billion for fiscal year 2017-2018. Total expenditures totaled $1.21 billion, leaving an $18 million surplus. What do you, how do you respond to that? Well, first of all, there's a lot of money, and that's the point. It's not being spent on the recycling centers. They should take that money and, and keep these recycling centers that are closing open. But the bigger problem is their accounting is horrible. It's actually $1.5 billion that we've spent. And the reason is their beverage makers, every time they audit them, are not actually accounting uh, the, the Walmarts, the people who deal in these beverages, for every nickel. We found over $200 million that are lost to the system. That's lost to the recycling, the consumer. We need to recycle, cow recycle. The governor needs to clean this agency up. We've got the greenest state in the nation. We shouldn't have the dirtiest recycling program. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your views, thank Jamie. You, thank you. Good you know to what I'm going to do when I get home? I'm going to get my kids to collect those cans. I need some money, <laughs> Jamie. The kids are the good idea. All right.